This is the Titan II ICBM uh, museum located just south of Tucson. And I'm here to look at the Titan II missile as well as the Launch Control Center. This facility was commissioned in 1963 and was decommissioned in 1982. So it operated almost for 20 years before the new facilities came online. The main reason the military upgraded the missiles was from a, uh, a liquid-based uh, propellant to a solid-based propellant was a lot easier and cheaper to maintain. Here we are going down the stairs to the Titan II uh, area, and this is the great big blast doors that protect the operators and the missile from the outside world. We're going to go towards the rocket first and take a look at it, the missile. The missile was fairly successful after the uh, it was decommissioned in 1982. It was used by NASA for a lot of space launches of satellites. It was also used in the Gemini missions back in the 60s, and it was 10 manned and 2 unmanned missions. Also famous for Star Trek uh, First Contact, it was Zebra and Cochran's uh, spaceship, the uh, Phoenix, which was famous in the movie. We were walking down the long corridor from the missile to the launch control center. It's more or less a separate building from the actual missile silo, uh, and that's where the operators would control the, the missile and the launch from. Here are the 50s and 60s era computers. We see the great big spring behind the gentleman there that's supposed to absorb a shock from a nuclear weapon here again, and that's the spring. It's pretty cool. This is where the operators would get their launch control instructions and uh, codes, I guess. The key lock system itself was fairly interesting. If they weren't turned simultaneously, the system locked down, and then the, it was unusable. I believe once the keys were turned, the missiles were launched, and the countdown started to uh, impact of the, of the target. This two-person key system is still used in the modern silos that actually replaced the Titan II missiles. The same uh, personnel that manned them in the, in the 60s and 50s still manned them, in the, as I said, in the modern silo. This is so-called doomsday clock or target to impact clock. It shows once they leave the silo the, the time to target, which is pretty scary. Let's think of the Titan II as like the, the granddaddy of the modern missile silo. Although the new missiles are more modern, the basic concept's the same. And the outcome's the very same, which is this massive nuclear mad uh, mutual destroyed destruction atomic blast.